there guys, a messy is here and today we are building a mid-tier productivity desktop PC. Okay, so today we are again building another desktop PC and for clarification, this build guide here is around 60k Philippine peso. And from that budget, we have also managed to include a 27-inch AOC monitor as well as a Red Dragon 3-in-1 combo keyboard, mouse, and mouse pad. This PC we are building today would be used for productivity and light gaming. So I'm going to introduce you to the parts as we go along and build this desktop PC. This will not be a step-by-step -step guide, but we have already made a step-by-step -step guide video for our channel here. So if you'd like to check that out, click the link right here or on our video description. So let's go and start building our desktop PC. So we are starting with our processor here. So we are going with the AMD Ryzen 7. 5700X. This is a 8 core 16 threads processor with a base clock of 3.4 gigahertz and a turbo boost clock of up to 4.6 gigahertz. It also has a 32 MB cache and with a default power draw of 65 watts. This is still on the Zen 3 architecture. If you compare the AMD Ryzen 7 5700X and using CPU mark, on average, it is just below the Intel Core i7-12700K. You can consider this as rank number 5 in terms of the Intel Core i9-3900K being on the top. Comparing it to the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 and 5600X, in terms of monetary value, it is rank number 3 on the CPU Mark leaderboard. So again, this is the AMD Ryzen 7. 5700X. Beware that this does not come with a cooler. So you have to purchase a separate cooler like this one or maybe another cooler brand that you prefer. It has to be M4 socket compatible so that choice should be yours. So for our motherboard, we are going with the ASRock B550M Pro SE Micro ATX motherboard so this motherboard supports amd or am4 socket 3000 up to 5000 g series desktop processors supports a ddr4 memory of up to 4700 mega transfers per second speed we have one pcie 4.0 by 16 and one pcie 3.0 by 16 and another pcie 3.0 by 1. In terms of the graphics output option, we have an HDMI and a display port available. We have four SATA 3 inputs and one Hyper M.2 PCIe Gen 4x4 input and one M.2 PCIe Gen 3x2 and SATA 3. For our I.O., we have six USB 3.2 Gen 1 and six USB input, which is 2.0. We also have a 2.5 gigabit LAN and this motherboard in terms of the IO shield it is pre-installed. So that is our ASRock B550M Pro SE Micro ADX motherboard. For the memory or RAM, we are going with the Team Group T-Force Delta RGB. This is 32 gigabytes, 2 by 16 gigabytes each and this has a speed of 36 100 megahertz and a timing of CL18. So we have RGB on these and it has full color dazzling 120 degrees ultra wide angle force flow lighting effect. And in terms of the speed, we, we chose the 3600 mega transfer per second because EMD Ryzen processor tends to like these memory or RAM with higher speeds. This memory kit is also boosted with the SMP 2.0 one step overclocking technology. So we are assured that this should help us build a more stable and faster system. For storage, we're going with a team group MP33 SSD PCIe Gen 3x4 internal SSD here. So we got one terabyte of 
storage here. This should be three times faster than the normal SATA 3 connections. For the read, Team Group claims that this should be on uh, 1800 megabytes per second read speed. For write speed, this should have a 1500 megabytes per second write speed. So we also have a smart management mechanism built in to this storage right here. So it has enhanced algorithm management, aka garbage collection, and trim command where you know this would be faster in terms of organizing our data so we could access it faster and smarter. Team group also says that the accuracy and reliability of the data transfer for this SSD would help in prolonging the life of this drive. So for our power supply, we are going with the Corsair CX750 80 plus bronze power supply. So this one delivers consistent power to your PC with up to 88% operational efficiency, generating less heat and lowering your energy cost. So Corsair says that the 120 mm low noise fan, which this one comes with, would be a more quieter solution for your power supply needs. They say it spins at a high speed when you have a heavier load on the power supply and it slows down when it doesn't need it. We have these cables available as well on the package of our Corsair power supply. So last but definitely not the least is our GPU. So we have the MSI Ventus 2X XS GeForce RTX 3050 OC Edition, 8 gigabytes DDR6. So this has support for ray tracing and DLSS. So this has a boost clock of up to 1807 MHz and a memory speed of 14 gigabytes per second. We have an available display port, one HDMI, which supports 4K at 120 Hz and a DVI port as well. So there are two fans on the heatsink of our 3050 here. MSI calls it the Zero Prozer. So in terms of how it stays cool, just like our power supply, the fans on our GPU here only turns on when it needs to. So there's no unnecessary noise coming from our GPU if it doesn't need to. So it also comes with a custom PCB design, which provides greater reliability. Again, dual fan thermal design, that's the Prozer. And it also is compatible, of course, this is MSI, so afterburner overclocking utility. If ever we needed to, we can overclock it using afterburner to get more juice out of it if needed be. It's the best budget option GPU on the market. If you compare it with the highest ranking GPU cards available at the moment, namely the RDX 3080, 3060 Ti, 2060, this is ranked below that, maybe on the sixth or seventh rank. So in terms of average performance, more popular than the 3050. So maybe it's ranked six or seven. And in terms of value for money, Again, this is the best budget option video card on the market. This is the top one bang for your buck GPU out there, which is why we chose this for our build today. And of course, our PC case is also from MSI. This is the MSI Magforce M100R. This is a really stunning case with tempered glass on the side. It also comes with four fans already built in three on the front and one on the rear you can still add two more fans on the top fans that comes with a case are argb fans we have a mag magnetic filter on the top vents we also have drive base for two and a half and three and a half inch hard disk drives in terms of io ports we have 2x usb 2.0 type a and one usb 3.2 gen 1 type a we have an audio port and mic port, and we have an LED switch button. So we have all our parts ready here. Let's get to building our desktop PC.
Okay, so there you go guys with our 60k budget desktop PC. We also included some benchmarks in there so you can try and get a picture of how good this system that we have built here is. You could definitely add more RAM or memory to it since our motherboard's maximum memory is 128 gig. Of course, we can always upgrade our GPU to something more robust or powerful. But I would say that this one right here, the, the RTX 3050 is a really, really great budget option for our build here. So there you go. Hope you like our 60K budget build guide here. So all the parts here, I will put this on the screen or on our video description so you can check them out or purchase one and all that good stuff, okay? So if you have inquiries or comments about our build here, please comment down below. And please do not forget to like and comment on our videos. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing to Mercy Views. Click the notification bell, select all, so you'll get notified when we upload another one of our PC builds here, as well as our usual video uploads. Also follow us on our social media links right here. You win perfect. So that's been it. This is Amnesty Views. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.